All right, these are spot prawns. You can tell they're spot prawns from the dot, the white dot on the body, and then the stripes on the carapace. They're actually a shrimp. They're not a prawn. They're a very big shrimp, up to 23 centimeters long, if you can believe. Here's how to get them ready for cooking. So, tail and first stock. You can keep prawns whole as well, but I love making stock with the head, so that's why I do it this way. All right, how to cook BC sprout prawns. We're gonna try three ways today, sashimi, then a sort of slow cook sous vide-ish style, and then barbecue, and decide which one. You can even try barbecuing the heads and sucking out their juices, it's a delicacy. All right, sashimi. All you do is peel and eat. You can devein if the um, shrimp looks like its line is a little bit dirty, but this one was really beautiful and clean, so I just peeled it like so. You just take that shell off and then pinch to pull the tail off. Um, and you can eat the shells as well, just so you know it's not bad for you. And, and sometimes it, pro it provides a bit of a crunchy texture, especially when you barbecued it. Um, but yeah, the, the meat is really sweet and firm. It's known far and wide for being really great, which is why 90% of our catch goes to Japan. Method two is pour boiling water and leave for 30 seconds to just lightly cook and bring the texture to a little bit more firm for those that like that texture. Um, and then dip them in a dipping sauce. So I make a nice soy uh, cilantro orange sauce that I'll put at the end of this video and in the notes, so you can check those there. Number three, barbecue. Two minutes aside, put that barbecue on high and get it nice and seared and then it's ready to eat again dipping sauce is my favorite way or just put like some salt and chili and grill them and pop them in your mouth and garlic is nice too so yeah there you go bc spot prawns super sweet come out on a sea foraging tour with us and learn how to catch your own